guys, what is up? And obviously I'm recording from my phone, but it's really good quality. So, what we've got here today is the box for, obviously, um, what is it? My software review was of the MSI Gaming Mouse Intercepted DS100. And today we're doing the unboxing of it. So, as it says on the box, we'll just go through what is on the box. So, you've got 3000 DPI which is how fast your speed of your mouse, like clicking and everything like that. Laser sensor, and obviously it's got a really nice uh, logo of gaming series. Don't know if that's going to focus. Yeah, the gaming G series. And then because it's the gaming G series, you see that logo there is on this. So, yeah. And if you look on this, I will tell you what this is, and then on the back it tells you what it is. So, there's the logo, that will light up in red LEDs, and then there is the DPI switches. So, DPI up and DPI down. The mouse wheel, which is precise, as it says on the box. And then you've got here the macro key, which is actually, um, as you can see on here, it's, it's ridged. So, it's got a precise grip. Um, then here you've got another macro key that you can program to do anything as well as the other one is able to do that as well and also because of this black bit here it makes it ambidextrous we'll go into that later so next things next we have a list of languages of um, important information not really important but 3000 from DQI, gaming grade laser sensor, 7 programmable buttons, and then obviously it's got all the other languages, so Dutch, Polish, Japanese, supports a lot of languages, um, MSI logo there, and that's on the bottom, so if you want to see one around the box, that's a bunch of languages, okay, the next part is here, and ergonomic design overview, so, if we look at it now, one second, if we look at the box right now, this shows the mouse, so that is the shape of the mouse, if you've seen a Razer Naga, it's kind of that sort of shape, but it's not a Razer Naga, so it's got the same shape, and then here it's got like a gap between the mouse and the buttons so mouse one mouse two or uh, left click and right click so what it says here is profile mode switch button so there's a little button on the bottom which I'll show you when I get them um, what's it called mouse out and it has a mode switch there um, change profile if you want to hear more about that go into my software review video and I talk about that also there's lots of pictures of the actual mouse on there then we got multicolor lighting, which is um, on the back where it's trying to point to that logo there, or whatever. That's pointing to the logo here, and then because it's pointing to that, that lights up in LEDs, like I said, and the DPI lights up in LEDs, and this bar here lights up in LEDs. So non-slide side grips which um, I will go into a little bit later, but only a little bit, I'll only just go over the basics. Little lights here, lights up red, just extras, braided cable, so that will go, I'll try to speak about that a little bit more. And then, I've already done that. So, yeah, side button, as I said, it's got grooves in it, and the grooves make it anti-slip. So, then you've got the coating, which is plastic, and it's got a matte feel to it and it's like really smooth so yeah then it's got some mouse specifications you can read that 3000 dpi 6600 fps acceleration 9 grams pulling rate blah, 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 button million clicks um four speed switch yep seven programmable buttons then you got pc with usb port win x for this system requirements, as it says there, at least 30 megabytes of hard disk space. Yeah. Then last of all, what I was speaking about earlier. So 
So you would have the mouse here and a plastic um, base over it to protect it. And then the wire would have been in this section there. But then you also get this welcome pack, I guess it's called. And I'm just going to quick go through this before my camera dies. So it's in black and with this you get the rub pads, replacement pads. So when I show you the mouse, I'll show you that it has replacement pads for the rub pads on the bottom which stop it from sliding on your desk. You have a CD which is the wrong way around apparently. But it's an installation CD and that just installs the software where you can change everything. More about that in my software review, you can look at that if you want. All links in the description and some are on the screen, I know that, to buy it. Um, also another thing, if you want to buy anything computer related, I would recommend New Air. This is the mouse, and as it's shown, um, well, I'll have to use this one. Ambidextrous, so I could actually go like this with it, and then you just use this finger here, which I prefer not to. And I'm not ambidextrous, but I was just showing for demonstration purposes only. Yeah. So we've got DPI buttons. And if you watch on my screen here, super, super fast. Slow, slow, slow. And it changes colour. So off, where it's really, really slow. Blue, red. I'm on red, this one. And then it goes blue again, and it goes red. No, it goes, it's, that's the highest. So yeah. And then it's got... really nice pulsing logo and then this side pulsing obviously and then my groovy button as I said more pictures and stuff inside the software review so I'd really go look at that if I was you if you want more information on the mouse braided wire I can't show you the gold plate unless you want to try and see my computer so there's my computer, there's a video coming out soon about that. And then just on the bottom, the rub pads I was telling you about here, and precise mouse wheel.